wrong time. <laughs> Hi guys, Kali Vlogs here and sorry for the intro na pa arte arte ko pa but this is my lightsaber. Just wanted to show to you guys and it's crimson red. You can even hear it humming sound. Okay, so enough of that. So for today's video, I actually wanted to... Wait, let me turn this off. Okay. Hi guys again, Kali Vlogs here. And for today's video, I wanted to show to you guys the one, that my pre-orders from Bully Boy Collectibles have finally arrived. So let's get started. Okay guys, so medyo naalis ko na yung robes ko, nalipit ko na rin yung lightsaber ko, turned on the lights and everything. And I just wanted to do a, a, a kakaibang entrance for at least today's video. And as you can see, I was, you know, holding my red, uh, naka red color siya na lightsaber. And then I'm also wearing a dark side t-shirt with Darth Vader. As you can see, it's on red. So kasi for today's video, uh, you know, my pre-orders from Bully Boy Collectibles have finally arrived. And it's inside this huge paper bag. Uh, but before we can proceed with the Funko Pops, I just wanted to show you this bag right here. It's very nice. And as you can see, it's not the common ones that you see in the mga uh, when you go to Bully Boy Collectibles, Hobby Stock, or Field Bars, this bag is actually exclusive to the Funko Fanatic Philippines. Uh, this was during the Christmas party from last year, and I was not able to attend this, but you know, Bully Boy Collectibles was nice enough to have my pre-orders delivered through this bag right here. So, I finally have this kind of bag, even though wala ko dun last year. So, without further ado, I wanted to show to you guys. So there are five items here. So I guess I'll start with this one in the separate a sorter box. So just a quick backstory on this one is that uh, when I when these figures came out uh, and I saw the details of it and since it's a very different color from the usual boxes and some of you may already have an idea kung ano tong figures na to. Uh, but to those who don't know, uh, these are actually the recently released na Funko Pops for Star Wars line na mga villain set. So, I think you guys might have an idea already. Kudos to the, well, I mean, the entra, the intro and my t-shirt might have already said the idea, but baka sa mga hindi. But here's the first item, guys. And I also, I want to apologize of the background noise na naririnig nyo kasi, again, you know, it's kind of busy nga dito sa street namin lately. And then, I think may parang party ata sa kabila but thankfully medyo hinihina nila yung music naman but without fu without further delay so this is the first figure that I wanted to show to you guys right here so this one is from again these are all from the pop villains line ng Star Wars this is Darth Maul and this is number 740 and as you can see guys very different yung box niya it's not your typical white Star Wars box. Well, although some of the Star Wars kasi naman usually yung boxes nila nagdi-differ based on the the theme of the movie or from what series, but generally speaking, majority ng Star Wars boxes are white. But, you know, this is completely opposite. It's black and it has the red lines and everything. So, this is one of the reasons why I really wanted this figure right here. And then as you can see, it's not even showing any of the of the characters that you can collect from the set particularly. Kasi hindi naman sila set piece, you could say but rather different characters for the same theme which is the Star Wars villain so you have here Darth Maul and this is I believe from the solo movie kasi he's wearing here yung yellow niya na necklace which represents the midnight sun even though you see ran ng blade niya and again guys I'll show this to you all of them out of the box I just wanted to show them sa inyo muna so ito siya guys ayan siya that's the side that's the back the other side, then Darth Maul again. So I think this is the first figure na makuha natin. And this is also my, I do really apologize for the background noise guys. So please bear with me. So I'm trying to loud in my voice then para at least naririnig nyo. So this is the first one. Uh, si Darth Maul. And then another figure. Let's go with the, the regular sizes muna. So this is in a two pop protector na ba, na ba, actually na box. So these are the other two figures. Uh, I've already taken them out of their, uh, you know, nung dumating sila dito, mga naka-bubble wrap and everything, naka-shrink wrap. So, next uh, would be Count Dooku. 
Uh, again, this is also my first count dupe in the collection. So he's here with him with his electric um, electric hands. Niya. So I believe this captions best the second movie sa Attack of the Clones or probably Revenge of the Sith. Either way, kasi yun naman, he used both. So that's the front, that's the side, this is the back. And again, it's not showing, it's not going to show you mga other characters from this particular team set. Then, yan, the side again, and then that's the front. And then also, my first character also for the collection and probably my second favorite kasi number one si Darth Maul seems to be because of the details is Emperor Palpatine. So definitely from the design element in his costume, this is from Revenge of the Sith na. This is a part yung kinokorente niya na si Mace Windu yung UNLIMITED POWER! And, and that, that scene though. Ito siya guys. Ayan na siya. That's uh, the side, the back. So we have your Emperor Palpatine. It's not yet even Darth Sidious. This is like the turning to the showing the dark side version niya. Ayan. And then there's like also a couple more of the exclusives na lumabas na ito na na I'm still debating whether or not kung kukuhain ko sila. Like there's also a glow in the dark version na ito. Yung hologram version niya. There's also a chrome not chrome, like patina chrome version ni Kylo Ren and si Darth Vader na kinokoriente uh, from the episode 6 part so there's like a couple of them there's like a bunch of these things pero ito lang kasi mo yung kinuha ko because you know purchasing them already is already cost costly in my end so lalagay ko lang yung mga sorter box aside and then the next two figures that I want to show to you guys naman are mga pop deluxe sizes sila so the first one would be and um, probably my favorite na ansa gusto ko talaga siya may display out of box. This is the Darth Vader on throne. Like look at the detail of this guys and the, the size of the box also. So this is number 745 and I'm not sure if this is would be categorized in this time also sa Star Wars. But ayan siya and then this is the back part para lang at least makita niyo. So ayan siya sitting on the throne. So as you can see very very loving the design element of this one and then the last one that I had that I pre-ordered would be Darth Vader with the TIE Advanced Starfighter so ito yung nakasakay siya sa TIE Advanced niya and then the base would be yung top ng Death Star and then there's a particular design na hindi siya makikita from within the box that may kita nyo guys kapag in out of box ko na siya so ito siya inside the box and then this is the back part and again I'll take all of this guys out of the box para please makita nyo siya sa turn lalagay ko rin sa turn table para makita nyo ng 360 and let's go guys let's take it out and show it to you guys and I hope you guys enjoy it all of them out of the box and on the turntable. I have to say talaga, the top notch for me would be even though the, I love the details and the design of Darth Vader inside the TIE Advance, still has to be this one on the throne. Like, I really just uh, like this kind of figure. Ang sarap niyang display out of box talaga. Promise. And if only this was just a light and sound type of Funko Pop, like, yung ipipress mo yung ulo niya, kasi Funko has done it with a couple of Star Wars already. I wish na kung ito ginawang light and sound, tas yung during the press, like, tas maririnig mo yung breathing niya, o magsasalita siya, like, that would have been amazing. Top-notch panalo yan. But overall, uh, you know, I really like this, and baka kuwain ko pa yung mga other figures na, and this particular theme set nila, I might get yung 
bronze. Ayun, I think that's the better one. Patina bronze version ng kay Darth Vader, kay Kylo Ren, and probably get also the, the, the glow in the dark. I don't know. Pag-isipan ko pa siya. But the other ones, like, meron pa yung nirelease si Anakin, eh, yung nasa Mustafar scene siya, yung nakapukas yung lightsaber niya, and then, yun yung scene na yung nag-aaway sila ni Obi-Wan sa, sa Mustafar. Basta specifically yung kay Anakin Skywalker on that one, na naka-pop deluxe din. Baka yun ko, ay, kaya pag-ipunan ko lang siya. But that's it lang naman for today's video. And, oh, oh, right, sorry, sir. Uh, one last thing, ito yung sinasabi ko pala guys in dun sa specific, itong sa set na to kay Darth Vader, ito yung blast kasi if you recall from A New Hope yung part na blinas ay yung trinay protecta ng isang TIE fighter si Darth Vader and then it hit to one of Darth Vader's wings kaya siya nagspun off outside at hindi niya na natuloy yung barilin si Luke while on the Death Star Trench run yeah, so it was this like, design, hindi mo siya may itong particular design, hindi mo siya may kita kapag nasa inside the box siya, but That's it lang naman for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if hindi pa kayo subscribe to the channel, please do so and then turn on that notification bell para nga naman lagi kayong updated sa mga uploads ko in the future and then comment down below which of the figures na nilabas ni Juan ko ngayon for the Star Wars villain set, villain sets did you like the most? Kasi ako it will be Darth Vader on the throne. And uh, like the video if of course you like the video but that's it lang naman for today's video and thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.